The following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. Dear brothers and sisters, in our Catechesis on the Family, we now reflect on the importance of the elderly. Nowadays, people tend to live longer, yet often our societies not only fail to make room for the elderly, but even consider them a burden. The quality of a society can be judged by the way it includes its older members. This is a particular challenge for our Western societies, marked on the one hand by aging populations and on the other by a cult of youth, efficiency, and profit, which tends to discard everything not considered productive or useful. Because of their vulnerability and their special needs, our elderly, above all those who are alone or ill, call for particular attention and care. Rather than a burden, they are, as the Bible tells us, a storehouse of wisdom. The church has always accompanied the elderly with gratitude and affection, making them feel accepted and fully a part of the community. Without such solidarity between generations, the life of society is impoverished. In showing concern for our elderly, we strengthen the social fabric and ensure the future of our young. Saluto i pellegrini di lingua inglese presenti all'odierna udienza, specialmente quelli provenienti da Gran Bretagna, Austria, Danimarca, Svezia, Giappone, Corea e Stati Uniti d'America. Su voi e sulle vostre famiglie invoco la gioia e la pace nel Signore Gesù. Dio vi benedica. I greet the English-speaking pilgrims and visitors taking part in today's audience, including those from Great Britain, Austria, Denmark, Sweden, Japan, Korea, and the United States of America. Upon you and your families, I cordially invoke joy and peace in the Lord Jesus. God bless you all. Dominus obiscum. Et con spiritu tuo. Sit nomen Domini benedictum. Ex hoc nunca usque in seco. Aiuterum nostrum in nomine Domini. Qui fece celum et terra. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Patria, et Filius, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Amen.